In this video, we're going to continue topic 10.1, and we're looking at example 15. When I said we wouldn't be focusing on difference of squares, I was completely wrong. We are still supposed to be factoring, um, and it looks like we have something that looks like x to the fourth minus y to the fourth, which are even numbers, uh, even exponents. Um, so if we took, if we did the difference of squares on that, it would be x squared in the front, y squared in the back, make one a plus, one a minus. This is set up very similar in the trig, so it would say something like secant squared in the front, and then tangent squared in the back, and then make one a plus and one a minus. Now, the question is, how can I simplify this a little bit? Um, so I'm going to look at my, fun, my, my Pythagorean identities. I'm going to see if I can find secant squared plus tangent or secant squared minus tangent. So I am noticing secant squared minus tangent is right there, and I can substitute 1 in for it. So this piece gets a 1, and this just gets secant squared plus tangent squared x. And so if I simplify that, I just have secant squared x plus tangent squared x. So I'm going to leave it there. It is possible that maybe they want us to substitute the in for the secant squared, so if that doesn't become the answer, you might have to go a little bit further.